Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, right? It's really good. It tastes just like a gusher to me. But like the, the cream on the inside is a little bit off-putting. Because it's like, like a cream and not like What's a... What's it called? This is a Tropical Blast Pink Guava and Paradise Punch Twizzler. Twizzlers. They're called Filled Twists. They have Yeah, they have something in the middle. Yeah, probably going to be munching on these bad boys a while. They're uh, 7 grams of protein. Mm. Oh, wow. For, per for stick? Him. Yeah. Are they really? I don't think so. Look and see. They are. That's... That's a lot. I don't yeah. Know. That's a pretty much a healthy protein snack. Right. How many calories? I don't know if I believe it. I don't believe 25. it. 25. No. That seems too good to be true. Nope. 25 calories per stick? Nope. It, hey. With seven grams no, of protein? No, it's like, it, what, it's, how many servings are in the bag? They're really good. I think if, there's 72. If I said, if I said that to you, you would be like, that's that can't be real. That's real. No, it's not. Give me the bag. No, that's okay. <laughs> oh, you're definitely lying. I'll give it to her. No, I'm you're just, definitely my lying. Hands are, my hands are busy. What do you want? You're definitely lying. I'm Ned. not lying. He does this to me all the time. He'll be like, you want an Oreo? It's a new flavor. And I'll be like, okay, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And I'm like, what the macros look like? He's like, zero calories. <laughs> zero sugar, calories. Sugar he's like, you ever seen, you ever seen zero calorie Oreos? And I'm like, no. And he's like, 12 grams of protein per Oreo. Okay. I Serving think size is two pieces. Okay. 90 calories. Okay. So 40, they're like 45. Yeah. 45 calories per stick. <laughs> 20 carbs. Okay. Per stick? No, per no. serving. So, so 10, okay. 10, 10, 10. Okay, 10. 10. Uh, one, one or maybe slightly less than one gram of protein. Hey, dude. You, <laughs> that wasn't that far off, really, yeah, in the grand scheme of things. Right, right. It's just off by... 45 calories and 60 65 six and a half grams of protein i was pretty close on if protein. you eat the whole bag though you might get seven grams of protein See, there you go no Amy, amy's got my back i i do hear that like some of these like nutritional things can be off by like up to like 10 percent or something so if you're getting seven grams that's of protein just, I don't, I really well that's what's crazy protein. that's what's crazy about anything that they list as zero calorie because like, I was listening to this nutritionist on TikTok one time talking about, it was like, um, what is it? It was like a cooking spray, like a like a Pam sort of thing, but it was made from soybeans. Well, it was listed as zero calorie, but he was like, I promise you the amount of soybeans it took to make this, there are calories in this. There's like, there's like probably 1,500 calories in this can that's listed as zero calories, but each serving was less than a certain amount, so they could say zero calories. Especially, for, yeah, for something that you spray, it's probably got an insane amount of servings. Right. That's crazy. Crazy. And that's not a big deal. But I'm saying, like, let's say you use, like, 10 or 15 of those products a day. And they have less than 10 calories. But let's say they're all at five. That's that's 50 calories that you've taken in, potentially, as much as 100. <sighs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's, not, a big, it's not a big deal. It's, not a, it's, it's better than the alternative. I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's something to think about. Yeah, they say that with other stuff, too, like... Uh, isn't it? Uh, there'll be a, like how much, like bug, right? And, like bug remains and yep. like mouse poop can be in something, mm-hmm. like per batch or yeah. whatever. Is that fake? No, I don't think that's fake. I just thought it was one of those things I might have heard, and then I figure out it might, it might be it fake. Just it might be fake. I don't science. know. I don't know. It, it's weird. Other countries even eat bugs. There are people suggesting that we eat bugs here. I've eaten bugs, so I can't say anything. Yeah. You're eating worms. Yeah, and other kinds of bugs, too. He ate a beetle one time I found in the back of the gym. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, can we not... Though, was he just, like, can we lacking not? on his protein that day, or...? No, I asked him to, and he he. You didn't ask and, me. You dared me. Well, excuse me. I wasn't done with the story. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I asked him to, and he declined, so I hit him with the, I bet you won't. I double dog dare you. And then by, you know, gentleman's rules, he had to. So... Huh. Is yeah, that all it takes for you, Nate? Just a double dog dare, and it depends. You've got to have rapport, you know. Yeah, it you've just got to depends. be in there. You got to do some dumb is. things for I, him a few times. Like, I have to be in the mood. Yeah, you really got to romance him sometimes. Yeah, I mean that's that's nothing. We can get him in the mood. I don't. Like I have it. I have a few long long cons going that I'm wor- I've been working the last decade on, <laughs> just little by little trying to ease. They're like into what? It. What's one? I can't divulge. Oh, okay. I can't let you know that it's happening. You've been working on it for a decade? A decade. Yeah, it's got to be big then. 
pretty big. But okay. I know, but I know how you work. So it's like now I don't. Now I'm like now I feel like I have to be on. That's you know what fine. I mean? Looking over my shoulder all the That's time because totally I don't fine. know. I'm going to be like extra paranoid about what it is that you're working on. Yeah. But if it's been like a decade, you're probably not going to pick up on it because it's not going to be anything new. That's true. I won't even know. I just know how you work, and it's like it's quid pro quo. You know what I mean? Like I give you something, you give me something, sort of thing. So like some things have to fall into place. Yeah, but, but I don't have any. I don't have any ten year, you know, long cons that I've been working on. I don't have anything. I know. I know something that I promised you ten years ago that that'll come to fruition one day. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember. But what am I? What am I going to name my firstborn? My firstborn male. Oh yeah. What am I going to name him? I, I don't remember the name. I just remember the conversation. You don't remember the name? I, I don't because we've had that conversation. That's the most important part. That is the conversation. Was it my name? Yeah. Okay. Nathaniel Weaver Wyper. That's right. And what did I tell you about him? I don't remember. It was like the Highlander. Oh yeah, there can only be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you raise him, and he's gonna try to kill me. Yeah, because there can it's only exactly be. Exactly right. <laughs> I forget. I remember this now. It's exactly yeah. right. But I'm not gonna let him until he's 18. That so was you like you guys can have like kind of a. That was like 12 years ago. Yeah, a decade. I'm telling That's you. That's hilarious. I totally forgot about that because then you were like, "I'm gonna ra- like his whole life. He's gonna yeah. start training him from a kid." But you guys are gonna have like a me. friendly, like Godfather Uncle sort of relationship. Because it's just when he's 18. Yeah, all the time. He's, like, measuring my reach. Yeah. And I, like, I'll be like, what are you doing? He's like, nothing. I'm going to make something arbitrary, like, the first full moon past your 18th birthday. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. some some crazy thing. That's funny. And he's just coming for you, the vengeance. I don't know, dude. It just, it just never ends with you. It's like, I have to worry about your kids killing me. Yeah. And whoever knows what long con. It'd be funny if, if like, it was something where... You had stolen my identity. Like, that I've was one access. of your long con pranks. I've had access like, to your social for the last seven years. You don't know what I've lost. I've had access to your social, too. Yeah, who's who's the one that's, like, a little more, you know. No, I get it, but who, we have. Who's the one that morally is going to, like, <laughs> slip into a dark place? And uh, I don't think you want to steal my idea. I don't have anything. Like, I mean, you know what? If I had. Don't you have a bunch of land? Yeah, but, I mean, it's that's, like. that's worth That's worth a lot. Good point. Yeah, good point. All right, so we um we got some. How you guys been this week? Not not too mean? bad. I went I to work- Chicago on Sunday. I heard that. That's awesome, man. It was fun. I worked fifty two hours this past 52. week. Fifty wow. two. Good for you, man. I ended my week wow. last week getting thirty hours of flight time when I thought I was only going to get forty. So that was pretty close. Yeah, I mean, pretty close, close enough. Are you got? Are you closing in? Mm-hmm. I'm within like thirty hours. Dang. Wow. Yeah. Take another week off. You know, I think uh, I think May's gonna come, and we'll see how it goes, yeah. and see what happens. See what happens. I um, they were talking earlier. It was pretty funny about Jimmy had a crack in his windshield. Oh, can I? Yeah, go for it, Amy. I want I want Zach to <laughs> may, may I? <laughs> yeah, let uh, let Zach hear this. So, a this conversation first started because Jimmy was so excited to tell Nate about how he left his cell phone provider um, because <laughs> I found out Jimmy was paying ninety dollars a month through AT and T, and I was like, it's "Excuse expensive. me, sir." So he's using Mint Mobile, and then we started talking about this windshield. So Jimmy has this crack in his windshield. It's like literally a rock hit it. It's like dime size, like little splotch and every time i'm in the car for like the last month i see it because it's right in front of where Mm. i'm sitting last three weeks yeah last three weeks okay anyways so i keep (laughs) saying to him over and over and over you need to call safe flight you need to call safe flight Safe Flight repair repair, safe Safe life replace replace. because you know if it goes more than six inches you're gonna have to have a whole new windshield been there baby And so jimmy goes to work the other day and he's texting me and he's like i made my my appointment with safe flight And I'm like, oh, great. Not thinking very much of it. We're later on together. He's like talking and he casually drops that um, the crack has gotten bigger. And I'm like, how much bigger? And he's like, quite a bit bigger. And so it's over six inches. So I'm instantly like livid. No, it's it's, it's at it's at six inches. Okay. either way, I'm livid. And I'm like, so he goes, he ends up finding out great news that he gets a whole new windshield replaced in the first time ever in history that in- insurance is going to cover it. So that has never happened to me. Me either. Ever. And I've had to have two new windshields. But I'm as I'm like talking to him, I'm like, so is the only reason that you made this like safe flight appointment because it got bigger? And he was like, mm, yep. And I was like, I said to you for how many weeks? But it panned out. 
Because we didn't have You're to right. pay a dime. It, it panned out the one time Jimmy got lucky. Now, in my defense, though, like I thought about calling Safe Flight. Jimmy's been lucky more than just once. Yeah, he's with you, yeah. Amy. <laughs> there you go. I'm blessed. Don't yourself short. Yeah, Hashtag don't say blessed. this. Like, that's, 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 I mean. I owned my truck for five days before the <laughs> windshield got broken. Oh, I got remember chipped. that. I was. You didn't have it very long after you smacked a deer either. So mad. Oh, I didn't. That wasn't very long. First three months. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. I did. Okay. I just was saying. All right. No, I agree with your timeline. Yeah. Had a real rough go of it. You know, the worst part about that, other than the money and the, you know, mental strain. That they had your car for two months. And besides that. I had stopped off after work to, uh, it was Friday at Schnucks, and it's uh, cheap sushi day. There was like $6 rolls, and I had purchased like $30 of sushi that just got thrown into the floorboard when I hit that deer. Oh. And I picked all of it up, and I took it inside, <laughs> and I unwrapped it, and I made a poke bowl. And I said, no one's going to judge you for this. No. I... I well, I you, mean, got to drive the, been, you got to drive the bad boy wagon for a while. Yeah, but after, that was that was something. If I, yeah, I mean, I would almost be more bummed about that than I would <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle. Yeah, that would be like, oh wow, you know, because yeah. that's that's the thing that you know we'd be like, okay, this happened. It's been a rough afternoon. At least I can go home and eat this sushi. Yeah, and then it gets ruined. Right. Yeah, and I'm waiting on a call back from a friggin tow driver tow truck driver yeah i don't know what those schmucks are doing but they're i, I think they're out playing poker with their buddies all the time they yeah. live next like they all live in our neighborhood <laughs> yeah no not kidding we have like we seven tiger to- towing seven tow-, towing. tow truck drivers one well, parks right in front of my house i seven that lives I next door to it i've called them i've had i don't know three or four toes at this point and they're like yeah we can be there it's to be like four in the afternoon it's like yeah we can definitely be there uh probably won't be till about midnight where do you want it and I'm thinking, like, at midnight, like, where do you... <sighs> yeah, it takes forever every time yeah. for me, too. You I have it know. on your insurance, or were you doing it, like, privately? So I've done both. So here's my hack. I don't know if this should get out there, but... <laughs> um, I have, what do I have? I have Progressive. Yeah, me too. And they'll, they'll pay up to a certain dollar amount. But if I pay for it and have them do it and upload the receipt, they just reimburse me. Mm. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if they know they're doing it, but they've done it twice now. So, wow, it worked out pretty well. Because it's a bunch of arbitrary rules. It's like we'll we'll tow it fifteen miles, like twelve and a half miles or something. Yeah, the the distance of that is yeah. ridiculous. It's yeah. like how, how how what if I'm like just twenty twenty miles? Yeah, is it just go up in price? I guess per mile as it goes over. I think or? you just pay for it after that. That's stupid. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, that's agree, just brother. a bad. It's a bad thing. There was only one time that I had to have my car towed. You should knock on something. I got it. Uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I might have something to do with that. Yeah, Jimmy's Jimmy's mic stand just collapsed on itself for some reason. Couldn't be because I was messing with it. Yeah, it, was, it definitely wasn't that. There you go. Just grip her up. There you go. You got it. And a baby. All nice. right, we got it. We're back. What were yeah, we the say? one the one time that I've had my car towed, it caught like I went through my insurance, and I think it worked out to be like a hundred bucks to have it towed, thirty miles, because like the closest tow shop or the closest like mechanic was like twenty miles away, thirty miles away, whatever. Yeah, now it's like they do. I've seen where they do even a like it's like a flat rate, but then also per mile because like the gas is expensive Mm, mm -hmm. like all right all right whatever that'd be a sick job though yeah it would just name your price how many people call the second tow truck if it's like yeah it's 500 bucks you know what i mean like yeah because half of them are getting paid or think they're getting paid for through insurance it's like yeah i'll be there in 20 minutes i would straight up tell them i'd be like i'll be there at midnight for 250 dollars or I'll be there right now for five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can kind of do whatever you want. Yeah, which is bananas. It's also kind of crazy because uh, I can't remember how I paid him. I don't know if I paid him right there over the phone, like Venmo or whatever. But yeah, you could get payment immediately. Like, like it'd be hard to 
anyway. I got raked over. Like, I one time was heading to work, and the weather was terrible. I shouldn't even have gone. But, I, I mean, cars were off all over the highway. Mm. And I was in my truck, and I went off the road. And then there's this tow truck who's just going down the highway. Just like he, I, he pulled me out mm-hmm. and then charged me 75 bucks and just kept rolling. And there was like another car right down the way. He did that one. He was just going along, just pulling people out of the ditch to put them back on the road. And he was just, it was like 75, 100 bucks a pop. He's like, it's my day off. And I'm like, just, yeah. he's just raking it in. Yeah. That's why. And I was like, cause I was like, I'm, you know, and I, I, then I ended up making it to work. But then from that point on, I was like, my body was White in rigor mortis. Yeah. Just yeah. on the, like I was lo- I was so nervous the rest of the way. That's funny. It sucked. 75 is not bad man no but i mean he just pulled me out of the ditch like, yeah what are you gonna do no i don't I, I, wait till spring <laughs> that's what i'm saying dude what was i gonna do wait till i could go get another vehicle at, at what point would you would have been like call. nah i'm good i'll call someone 200 yeah 150 200 i'd start okay. to be like oh i don't man yeah well i mean it's once you get over like a day's wages <laughs> you're like <laughs> I could just call in sick. Yeah, I could just take it. Yeah, just take this one on the chin. Well, it's a, it's similar. It's the same. Not. It's in the same feet. It's not, dude. It doesn't matter how how what the person is. It's just the genetics. Then why are you so big? I, but I mean, my he's well fed. My um, DNA is the same. It's the it's. Then why somebody, are you so big? What do you mean? You're so big and you're clearly white. There's people that are full Mexican that are bigger than me. Not in your family. Yeah, there was. In your family, there's people that are full Mexican bigger than you? Well, not not Mexican. All right. But well, then no Guatemala. talk. To, are we recording? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I want our listeners to hear. You look mostly white. I'm Nobody ever thinks I'm white. Really? Yeah, I've gotten, I've gotten you, Italian more yeah, than I have white. Well, that's white. It's not, though. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you guys think Italian's white? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair. <laughs> it's just not. It's it's not American, but it's it's white. Okay. It's not. It's not your. It's but not that's like, not what he means. What do you mean? What I mean? Don't make that face when you say he. Yeah, that's I'm not just what saying, he means. He means. Let me ask you this. I would say more people. I'll put it this way: more people have said in my life that I'm foreign yeah. than I'm just like full blown white boy. No, that's not true. Yes. More people. Yeah. So over fifty percent of the people you meet think that you are foreign. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten people like, yeah, like I thought you were Hispanic of some kind. More than I have, or or I've gotten well, Native no, but, American but nobody, too. But the people that think you're white aren't going to tell you that they think that you're white. Why? Well, why would they? Because as you just look white, because you're in America, and most of us are white. These are just not like I'm. I'm saying like sixty percent. Yeah, but I said of who I've talked to. Well, yeah, but you're I'm not just going to go up to random people and be like, hey, true, what do you think I am? True, I agree with that, but I'm saying... That could be a fun segment, would, though. It would yeah, only, could. We can go into Walmart. It would only come up what race you are. Honestly, we could just ask people to put it in the comments what they thought Nate was when they first met him. I'm, there you listen, go. I will tell you, I think you have kind of a racially ambiguous thing going on. Right. I do think that. Yeah. I think you're more white than you are Guatemalan. That's just... That, that's, it's impossible. I'm saying, like... You look like a very passionate lover. I am. <sighs> Well, so that right there is the full. That's right there is the proof. Why? I'm white. And I'm very passionate. <laughs> I'm a thousand percent white. And and it, and you're you're technically you're one hundred percent wrong because I'm more I'm Native American and Hispanic. I, so that's I, even less white. I'm not wrong because you're you said you're the definition of mixed fifty fifty. I'm going off what you said. You did say fifty fifty. Right. <laughs> okay. So anyway, right, but anyway. it was more like. 50, 25, 25. Okay, let me ask this, and I'll, we can be done here. And it doesn't really matter. Next to your mom, because your, your mom, like, for being, like, Hispanic, like, she's pretty fair-skinned. I mean, she's not, like, yeah. a super dark complexion. No, 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 no. So, I'm, th- I made this baby nail in my coffin here. I may be wrong. Compared to your mom and your dad taking hair color out of it, who do you think you... Like complexion wise, resemble more my mom one hundred one hundred percent. Everybody always okay. has said that. Okay, one hundred percent. All right, then it's over. So we got some food to eat. <laughs> we bought. I think it. Go they're, ahead. They're go called ahead. bananas. Bananas. Bananas, and we bought. Um, they're dipped banana bites, and some of them are dipped in peanut butter, and then the other ones are dipped in dark chocolate. So oh, that's okay. Not a fan of the dark chocolate. Okay. 
Peanut butter's not bad. There's banana in that? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? The whole center thing is the whole center thing is banana. Is it dehydrated banana, I guess? It's kind of a gross banana. Upcycled bananas? I don't. Yeah, the dark chocolates and I'm not a fan. This one's peanut butter? Mm-hmm. Peanut butter banana, a very underrated pairing, just in general. I'm not saying about this specifically. It would have taken me all day, and I never would have chosen that these were paired with banana. I'm getting no banana from this. Mm. Am I wrong? I'm getting a little bit. Do you think it's only because you knew, though? Or do you think it tastes like it? I'm getting an aftertaste. I mean, I think I am too. We actually. we saw these randomly on an island and or island on an aisle. <laughs> we 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 probably will never buy them ever again. I think the peanut butter ones were good. The mm. dark chocolate ones remind me of. I mean, dirt. if they're if they're a really healthy yeah. snack for you, then right. maybe. Well, I mean, I think they have a good flavor. I I don't know that I'm getting a lot of peanut butter banana from them, but it's a good taste. I don't like dark chocolate. This is my problem, and these don't look like dark chocolate. They look like milk chocolate. It's it's trash. The chocolate ones are are awful, in my opinion. I'm still eating it because we don't waste. We're clean players. Yeah, the peanut butter one's better than the other, but neither. I don't think I'd buy either again. Yeah. Well, that was a fail. It was worth a shot. It's not a fail. It's an experience. What is the middle of that? Why is that so chewy? That's it, crazy. It's banana. I wonder if they dry it. It's like dried out banana, and then it's like a... Usually, it's not chewy, Chewy, though, yum, right? yum bananas coated with the darkest of chocolate. Hmm. It's everything you want. And nothing you don't. It's just bananas, just chocolate. I don't want. Just I think amazing. I'm gonna give it. I th- I'm gonna give it a four. I was thinking the same thing. I'm gonna give it a four. I didn't. I got a snacks I, we've I had in say, here. I would give it a two. The the chocolate ones are definitely lower, like two. They they have like a dirty aftertaste. <laughs> dirty. The, and then uh, the peanut butter ones are probably in that four range. Like still weird, but more tolerable than I think the dark chocolate. I'm gonna go all together, like. 3.4 combined scores. But, I mean, honestly, it, it might be higher because I'd try those banana things or the peanut butter things again, potentially, but we've had some pretty crappy snacks on here, I guess. <laughs> um, so, I want to I want to change subject, and I told this to Jimmy earlier, and this is going to be a really, really quick thing, but um, I just have to put this out there. So, have you guys been paying attention to... I mean, Taylor Swift. Do you guys know anything? So she put out an, a no. new album. Okay, yeah, so she put I, out I mean, a new I album, and that. apparently it's like, um, I keep seeing TikToks about it, like dissing Kim Kardashian. Mm. And so I was like, I'm going to actually just look, because I've seen all these TikToks, okay? So I go and look up the name of the song, okay? Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Look at the name of the song. I can't see it. You it, can't it, see that? That means I won't be able to see it either. Okay, I see it. You see yeah, that? I see it now. And so I see that, and I'm like... Huh, that's very interesting. What's the name of it? Thank you, Amy, spelled my way. Oh, cool. But it also says, thank you, Amy, but if you look at what letters are capitalized, it spells K-I-M. So anyways, the whole song is about um, this experience that she had in high school, which it's just a song, um, but it's about this person, Amy, who like treated her really, really bad and how, I guess, she grew from it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm immediately like texting my friend, who I know, who is a big Taylor Swift fan, and I was like, are all the Swifties going to start being mean to the the Amy's that are spelled this way because that was a real thought yeah. in my head so I could be I mean, could I mean she has she's got a lot of influence out there we could use that press though um I don't I for don't the podcast uh-uh. yeah dude that we would could, be great we could leverage that yeah we'll catch another hundred thousand subscri- another hundred thousand to add to our we should put it <laughs> well I saw That's the name and my Amy's heart story. my heart dropped because I was like oh it's <laughs> my name okay hmm. that stuff yeah yeah, yeah. You want to share? Yeah. They want. They want. Zen. I don't know if. I don't know if. Um, I don't. Why did she? Why did she name it that? So that she could say, like, she could put Kim Card, like, thank you, Kim. Like, it's a, it's a diss on Kim Kardashian. Yeah, but you know, she, she could have. Picked have a she, you're name, right. She you know? could have picked a different name. Maybe there really is a name. No, I'm sure, this has got to be right. Gotta That's be. too. It's too on the. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you do A-M-Y? Yeah, because sure. because it doesn't spell the I-M for the Kim. So yeah, but you could... You ha- could so come up with another name. What do you mean? Mandy. Other than Kim. No, that goes I-M. 
Oh. You got Imogene. Have, but you don't have to have. There you go. That would be a good one. Thank you, Imogene. <laughs> you're saying find find another I and an M mm-hmm. next to each other in a name. Well, it doesn't Kimmy? have to be. It doesn't have to be. Thank you, somebody. It could be. I mean, the title could be anything. Right. It could be. That's just the, where the how the title well, is for play on words. Well, I mean, if I was going to spell somebody's name out, like K I M, it mm-hmm. would be like kisses in the midnight. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like it would be. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It would be. It would be kisses words in the midnight. Uh-huh. Kisses in the Hot midnight tub. oil. Kiss it. Kisses what? in the midnight oil. Yeah. That's gross. Yeah, you're. How- Trivia. Uh-huh. Trivia? Trivia. Trivia time. <laughs> Trivia. It's the time of day that everybody knows it's Sammy's rules and anything goes and we're going to do some trivia. <laughs> Zach's going to win. Amy's got game. Welcome back. Me and Nate have a gentleman's agreement that if we uh, both score and our combined total is better than yours, then we win. <laughs> I thought about that. Here's the problem. Because I re listen, I listen to the podcast. Am I bothering you? I'm no, sorry. my my neck hurts, so oh. I was just leaning forward. Rub your woman's neck, you idiot! It won't I'll matter. rub it later. anyway. <laughs> okay. Tea time. Well, uh, had you guys been on a team, I would have got double the questions too, because you guys would get one question per side. I would have smoked you all. No, I think it still goes one, two, three. You guys get double the questions, and you're on a team. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's <laughs> it's our handicap. I never win, so I need some help. You guys okay, guess handicap. a number. I already wrote it down. My number. I yeah. choose 66. Two. Frack. Frack. Uh, 87. It was seven. Who's yes. surprised? Who's surprised? <laughs> I, he, yeah, no, I know. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's yeah. It was, <laughs> okay, so it's going to go. I'm just saying somebody's dipping their pen in company. I'm ink. surprised. You know? Well, somebody should also change their number. Why? I win you every time. the same number every time. Okay. Anyways, uh, hey, what's some, today's theme? There isn't a theme. It's uh, some of it's kind of hard. I mean, Themes. oh boy, bring so. it. So Jimmy, Nate, Zach. No. Jimmy, Zach, Jimmy, Nate. Zach, Jimmy, Zach, Nate. Okay. Jay-Z and- Jimmy, M and M's fruit juice would eventually become what popular candy? What? You heard the question. M and M's fruit juice. Fruit juice. Fruit juice would eventually become what popular candy? Now and later? Nope. Gushers. No. Starbursts. Yep. Oh. Nice. Oh. Did you know that? Good job, Nate. Good job. Dig You're helping gun, the team. Gun, 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 guns. My turn. Guns and my. Uh, what is the name of the pet dinosaur on the TV cartoon, The Flintstones? The pet Dino. Yes. Dang it. Dino Flintstone. Two points. What is Prince Harry's official first name? Prince. Like the artist formerly known as? It's a real name. Prince is a real name. And I'm going to tell you, it's not Harry. It's everyone gets that. Harriet. It's Harry. So it's what definitely is, Harriet. what is his first oh, name? Oh, Prince Harry. See, I was thinking of a kid I went to school. I don't know. Give um, a name. Pick a name. Pick a male's name. Pick a male's name. Pick a ma- pick the name of a, like a name a guy would have? William. William. No, that's his brother's name. Yeah, I know. Frank. Nope. Franklin. Henry. Mm-hmm. It is Henry. <gasps> Boom! Gosh dang it. Did you actually know that? Yeah, I did. Okay. I was going to say Henry, but I I, I don't give a crap me. about those people. I don't know anything about them. Okay. Uh, who is Barbie's little sister? Jimmy. Uh, who is Barbie's little sister? I really wish I could phone my daughter. Miss Kitten. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zach? Good one, Jimmy. Dawn. No. You two both have daughters. You should know this. Yeah, dude, we're we're into playing with do- dolls. We're not into freaking. So if she's club. if she's Barbie, oh, that's Barbo. If she's Barbie, that's Barbie and Barbo, is that right? No. It's you guys definitely are? Violet. Probably. Ooh, that's a good guess. It's Skipper. Yeah, that's Skipper. What? My turn. Okay. Oh, like her little Gilligan. sister's a dolphin. She's no, she's a pilot of a, of a boat. Richard Hatch is the very first winner of which reality TV show? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Nope. Um, Survivor. Yep. 
Uh, uh, oh my gosh, that was just a total hey, guess. You're on a roll. You're helping us here. Holy smokes! Nate's turn. Uh, um, what breed of cat doesn't have fur? Hmm. Jimmy's. That's a Jimmy question. Just pass it to him. Your teammate. No, keep 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 going. <laughs> keep it in the air. Uh, is it a? Just say a cat breed. Is it you, a Siamese? No. No. Okay. I didn't. I don't know. Um. Sphinx. Yes. Dang it, dog it. I knew that. Couldn't. I knew that. I've heard that. Which U.S. president is estimated to have the highest IQ? Ooh. Hmm. 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 Reagan. No. Roosevelt. No. Lincoln. No. Trump. <laughs> John Quincy Adams. Did you guys hear what our president just Wasn't said? Wasn't he recently? like the second one? Yeah. Did you guys hear what our president said recently? What? That his uncle was shot down and eaten by cannibal- cannibals in New Guinea. <laughs> he oh. said that on national television. <laughs> Easily I do remember that. Anyway. I just saw a quick TikTok or reel about it. My turn. What candy was originally known as chicken feed? <laughs> Chicklets. No. Okay. Chicken feed. Really think about it, Nate. Do you know really it? Th- no, but uh, really think about it. Oh, I bet I know what it is. Can I guess again? No. Please? I mean, if it comes back around, you can guess and you don't get the point. Can I get a half a point? No. That's up to them. I'm battling these two morons. I feel like I should have a handicap. No, we're not on a team. Well, all right. I well, love you, Jimmy. Um, until you lose, then you're on a team. <laughs> you just think you're finally going to win one. That's why you don't want to team that's up. That's not true. Five. I never. Four. Three. Two. And one. Goobers. Goobers. <laughs> I, is that your guess? Yes. Yeah, I don't know, Amy. Jimmy, five. Uh, <laughs> four. Three, two. Two. Skittles. No. Is it candy corn? Mm-hmm. I knew it was uh, as soon as I wow. said it. Wow. Yeah. No, no, no point no given. Points. No points. But that's just because I'm a competitor. Nate, it's your turn. Um, what's the name of the pig in the book Charlotte's Web? Gosh, dog it. <laughs> You're going to get that. Oh, my gosh. I know this. Yeah, you do. Are you are you being serious right now? Yeah, I can't remember. Didn't you just have a book in here that was your daughter's? <sighs> yeah. I. She used to watch it every day. Yeah. Mm. Five. Oh, my gosh. Four. Three. Jimmy's going to get it. I don't know that Two. I will. I'm blanking. One. I know this. Just throw out a Jimmy's name. Jimmy's turn, unless you guess. Throw out a name. Throw out a name, you idiot. What would you name a pig? Is it uh, Is it Wilbur? Yes. Nice. Uh, is it? Oh, man. Dude. I was going to guess, I could babe. not remember. Oh, my gosh. I'm really mad that we took my fan out of here. Jimmy Stern, Jimmy Crack Corn. What president was a licensed bartender? Licensed bartender. Bush. No. That was it. I, that was exactly what I was going to say. Um, well, I guessed for you, so you can pick one of the other 48, 49. 47? Is it? I, I can't keep Actually, tracking. Actually, I know Trump was 46. Was he the 46th president or the 46th, like, presidency? I have no idea. Or 45. He was 45, wasn't he? Um, well, clearly, anybody who is a student of history will know this because this is just a currently Nate's in the lead by the way of course he is he's a strapping young man racially ambiguous slightly Guatemalan slightly white (laughs) five four three three two one I'm gonna go with you know who I'm gonna go with don't you you can see it (laughs) You know exactly what I'm Quit that's, that's what I like. Quit fishing. That's what I like about me and Amy. We're on the same wavelength. Right, 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 right. We're, we're 80s babies. Um, wood. Okay. <laughs> you have three oh, seconds. It's definitely Come on, it's the answer. Three. Harrison. Who would you like to guess, Nate? Um, I would like Why'd you to... give me that eye? You didn't know before you read it. Don't give me that. See, you're on this high and mighty thing because you see no, all No, when you said you Harrison, all... I was, I'm like, Harrison, well, I don't know. Harrison I'm going to say, what's I'm, I'm going to say, what's, <laughs> it was, that would have been so I'm going to say it was somebody who was It was like, the guy from uh, Independence Day with Will Smith. What was his name? Jeff Goldblum. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say it was Nixon. It was Abraham Lincoln. Nixon got a bad rap, by the way. We should talk about that sometime. I think it's my turn. Another president question. Sick. Which U.S. president was a law professor? Good night. Taft. Nope. Harry S. Truman. Uh-uh. That's a good guess. Clinton. Yep. How'd you know that? <laughs> he just looked like a lawyer. <laughs> oh, they're all lawyers, dude. Aren't they? Yeah, don't they all have to be lawyers? No. No. Oh, okay. They can yeah, just they be do. politicians. No, they all have I to mean, be. look at look at Trump. Look at Trump. That's true. Okay. Okay. For or, is it Jimmy's or turn? Whose turn is it? No, it's Nate's. Nate's turn. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, which globally dreaded disease did the World Health Organization um, declared eradicated in 1980? Oh, I think it was bed bugs. Polio. No. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I think it. I think it's. What is it called when chafing? It was chafing. I think. Five. So four. <laughs> disease. Three. Globally, uh, it was eradicated. Uh, me- me- measles. No. Mumps. Smallpox. Uh, I think it was close. I was thinking of smallpox blankets, but okay. I couldn't think of it. Now whose turn is it? Jimmy's. Jimmy's. Yummy. Actor Nicolas Cage is oh, the great. nephew of what famous director? Five. Four. <laughs> uh, three. Spielberg. No. Francis Ford Coppola. Yes. That's ridiculous. My turn. It's my turn. <laughs> What is the name of the Bo- of Boba Fett's ship in Star Wars? That you know that, don't you? Uh-uh. The only thing I know is Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon, but I don't but that's that's the That final answer is yeah, that your guess? I don't know. That's not it. I know. I, I don't know. I, I thought it could be cuz didn't he win the ship from somebody? Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. No, it was I know, it, I know it'll go 16 parsecs through the I don't such and such run. What is it, Nate? I, I can't remember. What's what's his like name to f- claim to fame? He's like, I can do the such and such run in sixteen parsecs yeah, or something. Yeah, through the I don't remember though. Okay, do I don't know. It. Pass. Pe- I, USS I don't know. Minnow. I don't know it either. Slave one. Slave oh, one. Oh, yeah, I have heard that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's Nate's, Nate's turn. turn. What city is one hundred and one Dalmatians set in? Five. Four. London. Yes. Good job, Nate. Got it. You now secured the number one spot. Okay, so we only have three more. These are hard. I can't win it. I, I mean, you could maybe win it. There's three more left. You gotta get two. What animal's nickname is a sea cow? Five. Four, a sea cow? A sea cow. Two. Um, one. He gets more time than that. Five. It's, four. Uh, three. <laughs> two. Can, can we one. mute his mic? <laughs> Just shut him off. <laughs> When he knows the answer, a you walrus? Just... No. Manatee. Yes. Mm. Mine. mine. This I is knew. for the win. I knew that. I okay. Knew that. So this is for the win. A lot of pressure going. So Jimmy has two. Zach and Nate are tied for four. I gotta get one. You, I don't think it's gonna. You should have gotten that one, Jimmy. You'd still yeah. lose. Yeah, you'd still lose. Okay, Zach. Math for a living. That's scary. Which Canadian hockey player is considered to be the greatest of all time? Oh, you mean the great one, Wayne Gretzky? Mm-hmm. Is that who you're talking about? Mm-hmm. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Michael Scott. Okay, final question. Do you get this that is reference? to tie. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is to tie okay. with Zach. Okay. Who owns Venmo? Uh, what? PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Five. Yeah. What? Isn't it a person? No, it's PayPal. Wow. <sighs> Wasn't so. that Musk? Didn't Elon Musk go... Or no, that's... um. Who's the... Uh, the guy on Shark Tank. Wasn't he big in, in the house? Yeah, what's his money? name? He's like a tech uh, guy. Um, no, it's the, he owns the Mavericks too, right? Mark Cuban? Guy? Mark Cuban. Didn't he make it big in PayPal? No, or is it, or is no he, um, Elon Musk, I thought, bought it. It's a guy yeah. It's a guy that a bunch of comedians know. Oh. Hey, Nate, they, guess what? We, we, we beat him. <laughs> <laughs> I like it that we, that we, like, we only... Nate, if I have to share the victory with anybody, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart... Okay, yep. I never want it to be you. <laughs> 46 presidencies. Presidencies. It says so there if, have been 46 so, presidencies, including the current one, Joe Biden. Um, so and like, 45 people has have served as president. So. No. It says Glo- Grover Cleveland was elected to two really? non-consecutive terms. 
I and we as were, is so such I, considered I the 20th. I thought Obama was like 45th. How are we not in like 50? Obama. I, I think it's because like this has been two it since says then. there's 45 men have been president presidents and 46 presidencies. I, I think it's just not counting like people who've had like two terms. Well, two terms. Or maybe it has. Maybe it has. Pe- Either way, Pedro for president. Sorry, I was just trying to give everybody the answer there. Pedro for president. So, That's kind of crazy. So, so there's been 46 presidencies, but 45 presidents. I don't believe it. Okay, well so, you can look it up. Well, but wouldn't more people so haven't some guys done like three? You mm. ca- you can only do two, and most people do two consecutive presidents. Like they're like the same person is usually. Uh, Consecutive four years, right? But like back like, in the day, back, well, didn't somebody I, go three? No. I think it was no, one of the it, Roosevelts. That, that no, was, that you was can't. The whole, it's that's part okay, of the Constitution. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. We can do this. If anybody <laughs> had the, the opportunity to be three, it was the guy, and I can't remember now who took over for Nixon, because I don't think that counted as his presidency, and then he could have won two terms after that. But that was actually like one of the maybe the best thing that George Washington did for us was they were effectively putting him in a position to be the king of. Of America, right? Yeah, and he he they limited that. He nixed that. Roosevelt had a third term, and in his fourth term, he died. So, I think after that, they put the two term limit on there, so that way I'm, they. I yeah, thought see, that the two term limit was mm-mm. like Zach is saying. It's no, from the original. Something happened though. It's cause a Because I've heard that too. That's why I thought that was that okay, something happened. But so did was he it's hot in here? He in that because he was the vice president and something mm. happened and so he served a partial term and then served two more terms. So he was in his third term. It wouldn't make sense that yeah. he would get to do a fourth term. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think that's, that's because what it'd happened. be like the same thing if Lyndon B. Johnson stepped into the role when Kennedy was shot if he went on to do two more <laughs> right yeah i think you're right yeah yeah i'm too because i was thinking about this and we were talking about actors off air real quickly and i know you guys aren't great with quick i mean because you're and that's and kind I don't, of insulting no no i don't mean an insult i mean like we take our time in all honesty like i don't know how you guys get here you know what i mean like you have to make decisions like to, like at a stoplight like I don't know how you guys do it right, you know, right, it takes right. you so long right, to right. think Keep of going. things yep. anyway impromptu who's an actor on your like goat list I'm not saying that you enjoy them the most I'm just saying like in terms of actors and career they're like underrated but like just awesome you guys have anybody like that I don't know that I have anybody who's underrated but I have Sean Bean I, who's that I was gonna, he Boy, dies man. a lot who Boromir, the guy that plays Boromir in the Lord of the Rings. Oh, have you you stopped watching that? Yeah, sorry, buddy. He's I gotta get back in, on it. He's also in um, Game of Thrones. Hmm. I think I think his most of his roles. He was are in, like, um, he's, he's a really good he's actor. In stuff he with, he's in stuff with with dragons. Do you remember mm-hmm. Equilibrium with Christian Bale? Missed that one. I think you'd like that one. Equilibrium. Yeah. Equilibrium. They um, in that movie they uh, everybody has to take a serum and it gets rid of all emotion. Well, I think I took that in high school. No, in junior high, they they fed us that. Amy probably did this too. It's called um, this pink drink. It was called fluoride. Uh, fluoride. Yeah, oh, okay. clean your teeth. Okay. No, I think it did other stuff. You did know who you mine is? It? Jimmy, I did what I did. Okay. Just because he's like not very well known, His but every time I watch something, bro. he's not very well known. But every time I watch him in something, I'm like, he is just. I'm gonna give he you. He dies one. a lot in a lot of his movies. I'm gonna roles. give you one that you all know, and maybe I'm crazy thinking he's underrated. Michael Caine. No. No, Michael Caine. He's like, he's like on Mount Rushmore. Okay. I think it's John Goodman. Oh, he is good. I think John Goodman. Like, like John Goodman from St. Louis. John Goodman. Uh, the dad and Roseanne. Yeah. He's from St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's and he's awesome. not underrated. He's like very famous. Have you guys? Very- well, I know he's very famous, but I. When you're talking about Leo DiCaprio, you're talking about like these right. big name people. I don't think he's in the discussion, mm-hmm. but you put him in something and he'll be whatever you need him to did, be. Did you guys see did you guys see Cloverfield Lane? Uh-uh. It's Ooh. like a sci-fi oh, movie. Oh, yeah, I seen he's like a And they're in a bunker. They're yeah, like living in I've a seen, bunker. I've seen like he's, the trailer. He's, he's what, super what movie good is that? in that. So you know Cloverfield? Oh yeah, yeah. Where I, like people it was like an alien movie. Mm-hmm. Was that the one, was that the Wahlberg one? The first one that people no. criticized? No, it was like it's all. It was all people that nobody knew. What about it Daniel Day Lewis? Oh, he's like, okay. He's an award-winning actor. He's considered oh, he like a goat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I've only seen but, him in uh, Games in New York. In the first one, Peter Jackson, <laughs> the guy that did Lord of the Rings, directed it, and something happened where, like, if you got 
uh, anyway i won't ex- i won't ex- i won't give it away in case somebody wants to watch it but what about stan lee uh, jimmy's like what about this new guy i've been i've been hearing a little bit about some rumblings is, is uh sean connery Den- 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 denzel <laughs> Den- uh denzel was his name <laughs> jimmy jimmy hold on amy hold on a second before we move on did you say stan lee R.I.P. Ha, has he done a bad a bad role? Yes, Probably. all of them. No, it's great. He just does cameos, and he's like, "You guys, you guys don't climb on that." Yeah, that's all he does. His one line is neighborhoods going in the toilet. It's always stuff like I'm that. I'm pretty sure Stan Lee was supposed to be at the Comic Con that you and I both went to. Really? Do you, rem- you guys yeah. went to a Comic Con? Yeah, together. not not no. This was before Jimmy, Ooh. though. This was before Jimmy. We we didn't know each other. I asked oh. I asked Amy to go to Comic Con with me. We both went to the same Comic Con. And that's wild. Yeah. And she's like, well, I'm kind of talking to this guy from the gym already. Yeah. And I was like. Actually, the reason I went to the Comic-Con was I had gotten divorced and I made a bucket list. And I was like, I'm fucking going. I wonder how many times you and I have been in the same place and didn't know it. Having like, you went to college in Columbia. Mm-hmm. And I did a lot of drinking in Columbia. Do you want to hear the, the random story about this? No. No, you don't. Not no, really. You're going to hear it anyways. Do you guys think that John Goodman's a good call, though? I've been thinking sure. about that. You I don't think, care. I think I he's a think. great I think he's a great a actor. Bit. Yeah, I agree with you, because I saw him in that movie, and I was like, oh, he can he's do anything. He's been in a bunch of stuff, dude. Because it's totally... He's been in The Big Lebowski. Yeah. It, he was in uh, Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? The Internship. He was in another movie. Oh, he, was? He, was, he was in... A, Oh, he, yeah. was, he was. Okay. He was in He's, another movie where he was like kind of a bruiser. Like he, he kind was of is. This. I think he kind of gets typecasted, but he could be a psychopath. He could be a good guy. Yeah. He, he was in uh, Coyote Ugly, Lovable oh, Dad. Oh, he was the dad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Got hit by a car. Spoilers. He's freaking, he was Sully in Monsters, Inc. Dude, so I'll bet you that's where he made his money, too. In Monsters, Inc.? Yeah. I think that- Not voice Roseanne? That, yeah, he could have because it was back in, from what I've heard on podcasts, those people at that time were making bread bread. Yeah, like, it was crazy. Like, I think Friends was the last show that, like, those people are. And uh, the guy, uh, uh, Ray Ramon or whatever. Ray, Ray Romano. Romano. Romano from, he was making a million an episode. That's wild. You know who I think about, too, is that guy. I don't even know his name, but he was the janitor in Scrubs. And then he was the dad in the middle. Did you guys ever oh, see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he had two, like, long-running sitcoms yeah that he was like a, a yeah like a side character well he no he was a main character because he was so good he became he was in every episode yeah i don't know but i do think the voice acting is where they make their money even if it's not like better paying than than the other gigs like i think it's i remember easy money yeah because i remember you know you know childish gambino the rapper mm-hmm. he's uh danny glover danny glover uh danny glover yeah donald, donald glover, glover. So donald glover Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Glover yeah. is is this the father? Jumanji. I don't know. There are no relation, sir. Donald Glover and Danny Glover are not related. I don't believe so. Yeah, from uh, Lethal Weapon. Are you sure? You can look into I'm gonna, that. I'm going to look it up. Please do. So anyway, he um he was he was like on tour or something, and he he like was on tour in in England, and he stopped off and just stayed there for two weeks and recorded uh, Lion King. He was Simba. So it's like. I don't even know how well that did in the box office, but show me another like huge movie oh, that you could get yeah. done in two weeks. Yeah, you know? it's crazy. Oh, they can yeah. go. No relation. They can do all their lines in like such a short amount of time. Right. And then that's what we need yeah. to do. We need to get into voice acting. I have a friend who does it. Like I don't talk to him anymore, but I grew up with him, went to elementary through high school. He moved out what to is, California. What is, has he done anything we know? I don't think you have to live um, in California though. No, he doesn't. Um, yeah. I, I don't follow him enough to know, but he, like, he is a, like, a listed voice actor. He actually uh, pulled his kids out of school, like, bought a jet stream, and, like, travels the country. Well, this, like, there's ones that you can do that, there's things, so, you guys know, um, have you guys seen that new show that, like, got kind of popular? It was, like, it started out on sci-fi, the sci-fi channel. Resident and Alien? Resident Alien. Oh, he, yeah. Uh, Alan, Alan Tudyk. Yeah. Alan Tudyk. Do you know who that is? Oh, I love Alan Tudyk. Yeah. Do you know his his voice acting uh, what like lineup is in? insane. He really? did. Yeah, because he even he even was doing. Um, he did some of the the voice acting for like the original Halo. Oh wow! So he's into video games, and then he, like all the way to he was the he did the vo- uh, the 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 voice or sounds whatever. Of the chicken in Moana, mm. like he does all kinds of these different things, and it's insane. He's been Ice constantly age. working. What Ice Age? 
Yeah, he it's insane. Like his his stuff is crazy. If you look at that's he did, cool. He did a show that my sister was super into. I can't remember, but um, Nathan Fillion was the main guy. Um, Castle? No. No, it was a the rookie star. It was a sci-fi show too, but it, they were like oh, I, Star Kid. I um, think I know what you're talking about. I can't Firefly. Remember. Firefly was the name of that one. Mm-hmm. She got. Oh, what's this song, Nate? I always ask you. Give see, me shelter. Is, this is no, the no, song no. I always try to get you to tell me the name of it. It's in Forrest Gump. It's in every like '70s scene. It's a fortunate son. Yeah. Sorry. CCR Creedence. Oh, CCR. Creedence Clearwater. This I didn't is realize like, Alan Tudyk was in A Knight's Tale either. I just yeah. looked at his like whole like film. Oh, was that Vision? No, you're thinking no. of. Um, Show him a picture, Jimmy. You'll know when you see him. Who is he in Knight's Knight's Tale? He's the. Oh, the redhead. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what you're talking about. Yep. But a lot of those guys, yeah, I knew that about him. Yeah, he's cool. He's got a crazy um, rap sheet, whatever you want like to call guys it. Like guys on the like the OG freaking <laughs> animated, uh, the, like the Simpsons, some of them are like 12 voices. Yeah. So I think they make bread, bread. Like uh, yeah. Seth Green and Family Guy. Yeah. Yeah. I just or Seth, like, Seth MacFarlane, I mean. Yeah, he does. Yeah, it's crazy. Seth Green, too. Oh. Isn't what, he one, one Yeah, he, he, he might be in there. I don't know. Wasn't Seth, was Seth Green South Park? No. Oh, I, I can't. Um, but it, it like for for instance, like uh, Kiefer why don't you Sutherland. Get closer to the mic, you jerk. Oh, sorry, Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, twenty four. He was he was making. He never has to go to the bathroom. He was making like two hundred fifty k for a commercial. Yeah, that's one nuts. commercial. That's nuts. Because they used his voice for like a car commercial or something. his voice is. If somebody like, called me and they were like hundred bucks, do this voiceover. I'm like sold. But the other thing is, is like you can be in something and then like the constant like mm-hmm. um, revenue. I dated a guy and he um, was it Jimmy? No. When he was in, when he graduated high school, him and his friends decided that they were going to run the, uh, the like the New York City Marathon or something random story. like that. Yeah, Nike. And it wasn't Nike. So they had already they had already been running discreet. constantly. So they went up. They had uh, like gotten into this marathon. They were happened to be downtown just running. This woman came up to them and was like, "Hey, can I record you guys running?" And they were like, "Yeah, sure." I think they all were 18. They signed a piece of paper. Um, it ended up being for the Nissan 350Z commercial. <laughs> Very first time the car, like, it's, like, coming right. out. And what it is, it's, it's a black and white commercial. It's driving down this New York City road, and you have these three or four boys that are running, and, like, they, like, look at it, and they're all like, oh, my God. And, like, it's, like, but they they Love got that. paid afterwards. How sick would that be? But it was, like. He gets residuals still? I, I don't know if, the, it's so, not still played, but they got a yeah. huge chunk all of a sudden, like, that there is. was a check sent to the house for, like, I don't know. If, I'm, I'm a, guessing fifteen twenty thousand because they cool, were in a commercial. There's a cool TikTok follow I'm going to put you guys on to. This guy named Dante Bosco. Anybody know who that is? Yeah. Uh, Zuko. Shh. What? Zuko. Zuko? Who's huh? that? Zuko from uh, Avatar. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking Rufio. about. Rufio. Rufio from Hook. <laughs> Anybody? Rufio yeah. from Hook? Uh-huh. <laughs> Hook with Robin Williams? I saw it a long time ago, yeah. Can you picture the guy with the red hair? Kind the, of. The black and red hair? Rufio! <laughs> Nothing? Okay. I, th- I think I've told you. I've so anyway, you this he, he's a cool TikTok because he does this thing called residual check lottery. Mm. I think he's done... I think he's done like a ton of lead roles, but I think he's mostly just been guy in the background with like two or three lines. I mean, he's, he's had some big roles. Right. But he just has this stack of checks, this envelopes, and the whole thing with residual check lottery is he'll open it, talk a little bit about it. Sometimes he'll post a clip, whatever. But the whole thing is like, how good of a dinner can I get off of this? He's like, sometimes it's steak and lobster, sometimes it's dollar menu. Because he literally will get a check for 30 cents. Right. But every so often, like, I've seen him get like $500 checks that are just residuals. Like... He's at a point which I don't know in L.A. Like if you're not working anymore, but if you're in like Moberly, Missouri, you can live off of that. Like he's done so much. Like one time it was a poem he did on Death Com- Def Comedy Jam, like in the mid '90s or something. 
It's wild. That's they, so sick. And I've known so that because checks there's, rolling in for something you did. 20 yeah, years there's ago. a guy That's, my dad went to high school with. He's passed away since since then. But he was in Sling Blade. He was in like National Treasure movies. He was in he was in some big name stuff. And he'd get residual checks like that for like twelve cents, or he'd because they have some sort of equation or right. whatever they run off right. of. But every so often he'd just get a thousand dollar check or whatever. It would be kind of crazy. We, we should all he just take in, up voice acting. Do you guys remember the movie uh, Yes Man? Yeah. Yeah. Do no. you remember the... You didn't see it? No, but keep going. The the hobo guy, the, the homeless man that he had, that asked him for a ride? Yeah. That's him. Remember. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweet. That, He's that, in Moberly Mel. Yeah. That's crazy. Graduated high school. Wow. Right? Yeah, he passed away. Wow. R.I.P. Brent... Uh, Kent. Kent Briscoe. Lived a long life. That's kind of cool name. Yeah. He was in... Uh, he was friends with Billy Bob Thornton because he was in Sling Blade. They would just, like, hang out. Like, my... The, the way I knew him was my, one of my high school teachers was his brother and so he'd like go out to see him he like played catch with Billy Bob Thornton at his brother's house he just played, like had the baseball out just regular dude how sick that would be though like you did it for like five years yeah and you just got residual checks and you could just go live a normal life after yeah or like do commercials or yeah. like yeah if you if you if you had no debt and you did big enough roles that's why I don't understand why the big, big, big stars ever get in money trouble. Because it's like, because I've heard, I don't know if this is true, so fact check me. I, I don't know. I've, I've heard, um, like, Nicolas Cage got in, like, tax trouble. But it's like, was there ever a week that went by when we were younger he, that gone in 60 seconds? He overspent, on? like, way overspent, though. Well, I don't know what the deal. I'm just saying, like, he, like, I feel like. TNT, TBS, like there was always like a Nick Cage movie. Yeah. On. yeah, yeah. And maybe that doesn't work like that. Maybe for those top end guys, they don't care about the residuals because they make the most on the front end. Or I, I don't know how it all works. I'm yeah. just saying, like, uh, what's the guy like? Like, uh, what's that? Uh, Shawshank Redemption. I feel like that was on TV every five hours right. for the last two decades. Yeah. I don't know. I well, feel like Cuba Gooding Jr. got into like. Was it Cuba? There was another like really big actor like in like the nineties and two thousands that like in the past five when, years got in when, trouble. Uh, Wesley well, Snipes. He's in trouble right now. Maybe Wesley Snipes. He, Wesley Snipes. He went to prison yeah. for tax evasion. Yeah. yeah. Cuba, I think, had been implicated in some of this Diddy stuff. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. That's gonna Oh boy. You know what's gonna happen from that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> because yeah, nothing. we just find people I that do terrible like, things. And we talk about it for 20 minutes. And it's over. And it's then like we look the happened. other it's way. Like nothing happened. I saw some clickbait the other day that was like Diddy was going to bring down Jay-Z or Beyonce in Beyonce. And it was like, no, I didn't click on it because it's like, what's going to come of it? It's probably yeah. just trying to get me to read an article of how mm-hmm. Diddy said something to him at one point in time. And that was it. Yeah. When, when Johnny Depp and like was they were all their dirty laundry was getting aired out. He had like 25 houses. Yeah. And... It was like he had to sell like almost all of them because he was in so much money trouble, mm. and he had to sell a bunch of them. And I'm like, twenty five houses. Yeah. He also owns an island. Yeah, he was just like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I, f- I fly and stay here sometimes, and I fly and stay there sometimes, and it's like to just, you know, to have a like to fly from place to place like that for private. It's like twenty G's. It's like twenty fifty k. Like how it depended on like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, dude, it's a crazy amount of money. But obviously, like uh, those people are all. I mean, I hate to paint with a broad brush, but I'm sure there's some great rich people, but doesn't seem like there are anymore. Yeah, it's just, you know. That's why I'm trying to be rich. Break the mold, you know what I mean? <laughs> break it. Just break the mold. Did you guys watch that uh, Nickelodeon documentary? I have not yet. No. It, it's did on you Netflix, watch, right? Did you watch the TikTok I sent you that was uh, like kind of geared? I started that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get all the way through. It was a long one, but I, I was watching part of it, but it was like, yeah, I was like, yeah. It was just consp- it's it's stuff like when I watched it, I was like, yeah, of course. Like, basically, the TikTok was like, I think people have been like silenced or whatever. But that's exactly what propaganda is, man. It's like it's like the powers that be saying, well, it's like that Netflix show, Don't Look Up. Did you guys ever see that? Mm-mm. No. There's like a comet coming to Earth, and somebody sees it, and then all the media gets a hold of it, and they don't want pandemonium, so they're like, no, it's not. Don't look up because then at some point it's like visible in the night sky. It's like it's not really even there. Don't look up. It's just yeah. the moon getting yeah. bigger yeah. and bigger. It's that's it's it's a it's an interesting movie. You guys should check it out. Don't look up. It's it's exactly what's happening in the world. I mean, yeah. 
not exactly because there's not a meteor coming here that we know of but well yeah but i see you all uh most of you i mean statistically i probably don't love all of you i like i like all of you i like well i said did i say like or love, love. you, you said, said love, love. Oh, okay well i love all of you uh I no, don't try amy to double loves, down don't try to double amy down loves i everybody. appreciate people who want to hear us do you appreciate everything you love or do you love everything you appreciate but, okay we'll see you guys we'll see this you guys has been the next great. episode bye i want everything bye i'm the best no I'm- Like we place, like we place, like we place.